Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bay, and this is Budget with Bay. So hi everyone, hello, 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 hello. Hi you guys. You know, I do like a lot of babbling and I'm talking because I just wanna have an update on how you guys month is going so far, how week two of February is treating you. I hope it's treating you marvelous, but let's go ahead and get into this cash stuffing. So today we're gonna be cash stuffing, um, sinking funds and saving challenges. So that's what this paycheck was allocated towards. It was allocated towards debt sinking funds and saving challenges well not really sinking funds with the s just one sinking fund and you guys will see and i'll be able to explain why i'm only doing one sinking fund but let's go ahead and get into it so you know i have my bank baggie boop, boop, boop. and i should have um i should have 778 dollars so my um check was 1078 and so i decided to put 300 dollars towards debt because i you guys you, you guys know my goal for this year is to pay out 50 percent of my um car loan like it would be awesome if i can pay it off you know god speed god willing you know <laughs> with all of the extra um income that i may have coming in because all extra income, I'm actually saving um, up towards the end of the year. So any affiliate, YouTube, I am not using none of that money. I will catch stuff all that money and count it at the end of the year. So that's what I'm excited about. But yes, you guys, I can finally tell you guys the good news now that I got it. You guys, I got an offer letter for a new position your girl got promoted your girl got promoted and if you guys know i've only been at my job for about four months um and i already got promoted you guys and this is a really really big promotion you guys i will have my own office and my name will be on the door like when this happens it's it, my first day is the 12th is that the 12th i think the 12th is a sunday my first day is the 13th um, the 12th is like the beginning of the pay period but my first day is the 13th you guys wish me luck and my video after that hopefully i'll be able to like insert a picture in me in my office y'all i didn't order supplies i'm trying to get the aesthetic going okay I'm trying to make my office be the safe space for people who just want to come sit in rent or just sit in and not do anything or hide out you guys you guys know how that is but yes you guys i got promoted oh Thank you, God. Nobody but God. Nobody but God. Tons of thanks to him. Big dog. Woo -woo. Like, oh, I'm just over the moon excited. I'm over the moon excited, but okay. Let's go ahead and get into this cash counting. So we have 100, 200. We have 50, 150, 200. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60. 160 correct we have 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 10 20 30 40 50 it's 150 we have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Right on the money, you guys. $778 is what we are cash stuffing today. Y'all, I'm about to take this. I'm about to take this sweater off. I was cold outside and I had the heat on in my house and I am... Okay, I feel a lot more better. I am relatively hot. Also, you guys, I just came from the gym. I came from the gym and I'm cash stuffing and I'm gonna edit this video, I'm gonna upload it tomorrow. Like I'm gonna give you guys the content that you guys deserve. And I have a question for you guys. Um, somebody left a comment on my, um, I'm gonna see if I can insert it. Um, 
and some and it was about me cash stuffing one of my sinking funds my dirty 30 and some person commented and was like it was like a backhanded compliment because it was followed by and so some something something i uh but she steals content how am i stealing my own content like i don't i'm not trying to feed like this month not feeding into drama not feeding into anything that's not positive and honestly i have not had no drama in the budgeting community no one hasn't said anything negative to me that was like my first negative comment and I responded. I also posted on my Instagram story, but then I took it off because I'm like, I'm about to entertain this. Like, you know, you're just biggity, 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 biggity blocked. You're blocked and going about your life. Like your negativity, people who sit up and purposely be negative on social media, want to bash other people and stuff like that. You literally have too much time on your hand. Like if it's not feeding me, if it's not feeding my soul, if it's not nothing good or positive, I don't want it. So you can keep your comment to yourself. With that being said, <laughs> with that being said, um, I want to go ahead and get the first sinking fund out the way. So I'm only cash stuffing one sinking fund and it is in my life binder. So this sinking fund um, envelope that I'm actually cash stuffing will be, let's find it, find it, find it. It should be right here. So friends and family, I'm actually going to be cash stuffing friends and family $178 because my husband's birthday is tomorrow. So this video should be uploaded on my husband's birthday, February 7th. And um, I'm trying a new method, y'all. I'm trying it out. I've used my credit card and I've been tracking my expenses to make sure that I can pay myself back. So I'm going to do like an end of the month payback because I was trying to do a weekly check-in and I just could not... I could not schedule this. I could not come up with like a schedule for it. It was very, it was stressing me out. So I just like, I'm going to do this at the end of the year. But yes, I am cashed up in friends and family because me and my son um, bought my husband some, oh my God, the cologne smells. We bought him two colognes and then we'll be taking him out to eat. We'll be taking him out to Ruth's Chris. So I'm pretty sure he ain't going to see the video and know what he got for his birthday or where we going. But yeah, I'm taking him out to Ruth's Chris. So I'm going to use some money, use the money and friends and family for his gifts and for dining out. So like I said, friends and family will be getting $178. So we have 100, 150, 170, 175, 76, 77, and 78. I usually don't count. Um, I usually don't count my envelopes. I usually just like write down the numbers and stuff at the end. But since we are here... Let's just go ahead and cash stuff to see what I have, what I'm working with, if I need to add extra money, like if I went over budget. So we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300, 310, 320, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 326. Okay, I can get with that. I can get with that and I can pull some money from somewhere else. Okay, yes, 326. That is all I wanted to cash stuff for my sinking funds. So let's go ahead and get into the saving challenges. The saving challenges. So actually, I don't was I cash stuffing this? So I don't think I was cash stuffing my holiday savings challenge box only because the holiday that is right after Valentine's Day in here is St. Patrick's Day. We had some St. Patrick's Day. Um, basically, I can cash stuff this towards the end of the month. So I'm going to just move this off to the side, actually. So we're just going to start with our... Do we want to start with our big baby? We're going to start with our big baby, okay? Because I'm not cash stuffing all of my saving challenges in this video. I'm just cash stuffing a few of them. So I will be cash stuffing the February savings challenge from Baggies and Budgets. And I believe I'm going to cash stuff the entire thing. So this comes out to, I believe this comes out to $97. And I'm just going to go ahead and double check. going to time lapse this. So we have, let me see, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 5, 6, we have 10, 11, 12, 13. Then we have 5, 10, 11. Then we have... 5, 10, 11. Then we have 5, 6, 7, 8. 
Then we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I am all off. Y'all, how do I have 77? Is my math not mathing? Hold up, swell up. Let's do that one more time, big dog. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we have 5, 6, 7, 8. Then we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, you guys, it's 77. So I actually budgeted $20 over. So we're actually just going to leave that $20 to the side. And so, yeah, so today we are cash stuffing $77. And that will be the, that I would have completed this entire challenge already. Second week of February. So excited about that. So we're going to have 50, 70, 75, 76, and 77. So we have that and now I actually am going to color and I'm just going to color in the hearts. Okay. Cause I don't want this video to be longer than what it needs to be. So let's go ahead and color in the hearts. And of course this is going to be time lapse. So I went ahead and cat um went ahead and colored this in pink, you know the love month. So we have completed our baddies and budded baddies and budded. We have completed our baddies and budgets February savings challenge. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the back. And then the only other February savings challenge in this binder that I have to complete is my scratch off one. So I will actually do that next time. And it tells you that it has a hundred on the front and then it's a hundred on the back. So I need to say two hundred dollars this month. Or a hundred because I don't have to complete both sides, but a hundred or two hundred dollars a month this month to complete my other February challenge. Now on to our favorite person, y'all favorite nephew who loves chicken nuggets and mac and cheese. On to baby Eric's 5k challenge. So today we are cash stuffing $75. And that will be 50, 70. 5075 for baby Eric. And I I just feel it in my spirit that I'm almost done with his challenge. Nothing for the $1, nothing for the $5 because those are envelopes for the rollover money. So our $500 challenge, our $500 challenge, I'm actually cash stuffing a total of $35. But we are doing different numbers. So move this out the way i feel like i'm just all over the place y'all but give me a second give me a second okay so the three numbers that i've chose to cash up for our 500 dollars challenge would be 35 plus a 5 plus 10 plus 5 equals 55 so put that back up there so we're doing 35 5 10 and 5 So I colored in my numbers and let's get this money. So we should have 20, 30, and a five. Let me just go ahead and look at my tracker because when I tell you guys, I feel like I messed these domin dominations. I feel, I feel like I messed these denominations up. I probably did, but it's okay. So I actually have that I'm getting four tens and three fives. So we're just gonna do do exactly what it says because i messed it up i don't know how but i still got the correct amount so we have 10 20 30 40 45 50 55 boom 55 dollars 10 20 30 40 45 50 55 55 dollars was cashed up today in our 500 savings challenge 
I'm excited about that. So now on to our 26 week challenge. Our 26 week challenge also consists of me picking out three numbers. And so the three numbers that I decided to pick out, I just wanted to finish off this row. So I'm gonna do 12, 14, and 16. And so 12, 14, and 16 should equal 42. So we have 12 plus 14 plus 16 equals 42 on the money. And so $42 is what we're cash stuffing today. So I have three tens of five and seven ones is what I went ahead and did. So we have 10, 20, 30, three tens, 35, and then seven ones, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. I have no idea why I did the denominations like this, you guys. Because I usually get the denominations like, I usually do them individually by like each number. So I would have had a 10 and two ones, another 10 and four. Did I do Oh, I probably did. Yep, I actually did it correct this time. So that is what we have for our 26 weeks savings challenge, 42 dollars love that for me now on to our 52 week savings challenge our 52 week savings challenge we are cash stuffing only 30 dollars and so we're going to do number 9 10 and 11 which are the next three numbers up so 9 10 and 11 And that came out to two tens, sorry, two tens. And then it came out to 10 ones, have no idea why. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Which gives us $30. So that is all we have for the big baby today. Now on to one of my other binders that I have let me grab my marker even though I actually don't need this marker because I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the the numbers on it but for our February savings challenge the goal is $250 and I'm only gonna cash stuff $100 in here so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna cross off anything because I'll just wait till I know that I put 250 in here and then I'll cross it off so we're only putting $100 in here which leaves us with $150 left to cash stuff in this February savings challenge. Okie dokie. Put that off to the side. Now on for Princess Loves. Princess Loves. Princess Loves budget. Today we are actually going to be cash stuffing $50 out of this um out of this into this savings challenge this is a 1k savings challenge and i'm going to be doing number 20 and i'm going to be doing number 30 so we'll just do this number 20 and then number 30 so that gives me two 20s and a 10. And let me find our next numbers up. So this one is actually 20. You see, put the nice little 20 in there. I already did the 35, 45, 35. Or was that another 30? Okie dokie. And we'll put the 30 in here. What I like to do is just stick this in the back so that I keep up with the tracker. Oh, you guys don't understand how long I wanted this savings challenge. <laughs> this 1K savings challenge is absolutely beautiful. Now on to our little baby. And we are going to be cash stuffing today. Not all of these, just a few of them. And so today we're actually going to be doing... Um, our pantry challenge. So we're only gonna do $10. So we're 
color in one of the spice jars. Seems like this binder um, takes off the permanent marker if it hasn't dried, I guess. So we're only putting $10 today inside of our pantry challenge. So I should have a total of 10, 20, 30, $40 in here so far. So yep, two, two wait. I have, yes, $40 in here, a 20 and two tens. Unexpected bills, we are cash stuffing our unexpected bills and unexpected bills will be getting $30, which is two of these envelopes. These are two little invoice envelopes. Ooh, my coloring is horrible. And that's gonna give me, what is it gonna give me? It's gonna give me $30. We're gonna do two tens and two fives because they're 15 each. So two tens and two fives. 10, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so our next one up should be home maintenance. Home maintenance will be getting $50. And these little screwdrivers and wrenches are $25 each. So I'm just going to go ahead and color in those like that. And that is $50. Because I need to get my house deep cleaned. Bam. I could have just colored in a house. One of the houses are worth $50. Oh, okay. That's too easy. And so we're not doing Mother's Day, not doing Father's Day, not doing spring break, not doing Amazon. But we are doing our $10 challenge. So we have $110 for our $10 challenge. So 110 for our $10 challenge. Fan that off, fan that off. And then we're going to do a 20 for our $20 savings challenge. Okay, we completed those. I'm gonna just double check to make sure these are the only ones that I was doing. Pantry, unexpected, home maintenance, 10, $20. Okay. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, so that's all that we have currently for our saving challenge binders. And so let's go ahead and get into the 100 envelope challenge. So the 100 envelope challenge today we are actually going to be cash stuffing envelope number 30 number 30 was my random pick i asked suri to pick a number and she picked 30. so i have my 30 envelope and let me go ahead and take out my tracker and i'm gonna find number 30 and color it in and then we're gonna cash stuff this envelope $30. So we have 20 and a 10 makes 30. And then you guys know that I put these in here backwards and then I use this as like my little divider. And that's what we have for our 100 envelope challenge. Now, what we have left is $1 because the 20 is not supposed to be here. <laughs> so what we have left is $1. So this $1 is actually going to go into the $1 savings challenge. And you guys know what I'm going to do. I am going to take these ones out of here because it's getting so full. Or I'm just going to keep a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, I'll keep a little bit of the ones in here. But we have reached the point where mama brings out the big box. So here is the big box. If you guys don't remember, this is the box that I had all of my ones in. 
and I couldn't get the key off of this. So I'm trying to figure out, do I wanna just toss all the ones in here like I did last time or do I wanna like possibly rubber band them? I think I'm just gonna rubber band them and like slide them, see if I can slide them in here with the rubber band on so that I can at least keep them in order so it'll like help me out towards the end of the year. So let me find a rubber band real quick. Okay, scratch that idea. I can't find a rubber band at this moment, but I will do it off camera. So we're just gonna put the ones in here like this. Bam, and they all feel the same way. So we are now getting to the point where we're putting our ones inside of our big box. Happy about that. Now we have $20 left, you guys, and I don't know where it should go. Let me see something. You know what? We're going to put that $20 because I actually already ordered all of my son's grandmothers. We have my mom, my mother-in-law, and then we have my second mother-in-law. And my son has already ordered them their Valentine's Day gift. It'll actually be here this week. <laughs> They'll just have their Valentine's Day gift early. I just wanted to make sure that I knock that out. And of course, that also comes out of, um, that actually comes out of like the, I'll show you guys. It comes out of this. Valentine's Day purchases will come out of this will come out of all of these beautiful valentine's day envelopes in here and so this is a total of 175 and i believe i spent 126 dollars in total so i do have a little bit of money left over for valentine's day which of course is going to go towards my son because i'm going to take him out on a date because he deserves nice things as well you're going to be showered on this day with love just like everybody else so we're just going to add this 20 to friends and family I want to kind of beef this up so that I make sure that I'm not really pulling excessively from other envelopes when it comes time to pay myself back at the end of the month. And then I will update my trackers on my own. You guys, I am on a diet. I am on my fitness journey. I am also, I don't know if you guys are spiritual, if you guys do like Lent or you fast. I'm also um, fasting. I'm just... This month has brought like, um, it's only the second week, but I've, for some odd reason, I've just been having like the fear the, 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 of panic. Like I still have a little bit of postpartum depression and the panic. I think no one talks to you about the amount of anxiety that you're going to have once you bring a child into this world. Like it's, it's absurd. Like I thought I knew what anxiety was. And then I had my son and I panic all the time, all the time. Every, my, my son is on my mind. 25 8 okay 25 8 like if i get a call from his school i immediately answer the phone and be like is my son okay and they be like oh yeah mama we're just calling to ask you some, some, something and i'm just like i panic too much and so i'm we're i'm working on like becoming mellow well I'm, i actually am very mellow i'm a very very calm person but i'm just focusing on like techniques when it comes to breathing and then and, and reassuring myself that my son is in great hands he's gonna always be okay my son is gonna live a long life he's gonna have a family he's not gonna be bullied no one's gonna harm him he's just gonna be absolutely amazing he's going to be an amazing human being i just had to tell you guys that because that's kind that's what i'm dealing with right now Okay, I'm dealing with that and I am back in the gym. I am back in the gym. I had caught COVID, was it last year? Nope, I caught COVID the year before last. I caught COVID in 2021, um, actually two weeks before my birthday and I actually had COVID and pneumonia in my lungs. And you guys, I have not been able to run or go up a flight of stairs without huffing and puffing. I just haven't worked out since then because like my lungs, it hurt. But you guys, I am back in the gym now. I am happy. And I'm actually going to the gym at the complex where I live. So I did catch up some money into fitness for a trainer. But right now I'm going to just do it on my own pace because I don't want to get discouraged. And that's kind of a message for anyone that's cash budgeting as well. You guys are in this community. You guys see the amount of money that people cash stuff. Some people say that I cash stuff a lot compared to me. Some of the people that I watch hell i don't cash stuff as much as them but i always wanted to say like don't compare yourself to others don't um be discouraged everyone has their own walk in life their own journey trust me y'all i didn't just wake up and was making this money like that it took me a very very long time and now i am on this journey and i am realizing ways to utilize my money that's absolutely going to benefit me in the future benefit my family benefit my son and everything but yeah i'm gonna let y'all go because i gotta go because i want to um 
I want to make me some vegan fried chicken, aka fried cauliflower. But yes, you guys, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all of my social media platforms. And in the meantime and in between time, I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye.